What's new crew? Welcome back to my channel. I just got back from Aldi. I'll show you guys all my groceries, but I ended up spending $200 and, or $211. I'm gonna show you what I got, and I feel like I'm getting less and less groceries for more and more money, which is not something you ever want. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys the groceries. I only got two bags of gala apples because I wanna focus more on oranges because they should be, a, they are a better price. They should be a better price. They are a better price because it's winter time. Citrus is this. This is the time when citrus is gonna be the lowest price. So I wanna get more oranges this month, two bags of gala apples. And now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should have just gotten more, but that's what I got. I did get a small cabbage. These were uh, 55 cents per pound, so I got a small one. Um, did get a pineapple for London. She loves pineapple. She loves having that in her lunches and stuff, so I got that. Three bags of baby carrots. They didn't have any whole carrots like I normally get, so I might get those from Walmart, but we'll see what happens. But three bags of those. Colt wanted some grapes, so we got some grapes. I got two bags of mini cucumbers for the kids because last month those were a huge hit. I got some tomato juice. I needed this for Spanish rice and stuffed peppers that we're doing this month. One bag of romaine lettuce. I kind of wish I would have gotten two, but not all of them looked super great, so I got kind of one of the last ones that looked good. To get some bell peppers, I needed whole bell peppers for stuffed peppers. I have diced bell peppers in the freezer from the garden, so I think this coming summer I'm gonna freeze whole peppers so that when I wanna do stuffed peppers, I can do them. If you've been following around on uh, the food journey or like watching the food pantry videos, I'm breastfeeding Cleo and when I eat excessive amounts of dairy, she gets kind of upset. I've had babies with like lactose issues in the past, so I just cut back a crazy amount on all of my dairy and it seemed to clear the issue up. So that's why there's not the amount of cheese that's usually here and just know that like not all, I'm not ingesting all this cheese, but we do have dinners with like cheese and dairy products in them and she's completely okay as long as I don't go like overboard on dairy and have it for every single meal. So I'm just kind of making sure that I'm doing it lightly. I'm not eating any yogurt or like any sour cream or anything like that because that seems to really push her over the edge. But she's been okay if I've had just like little bits of cheese on a meal or something. So we're still doing pizzas and calzones and stuff. I'll just make sure we're going lighter on the cheese than we normally do, which is probably better for us anyways, let's be real. But I did get some mozzarella. I got three bags of taco cheese. That's what I needed for my meal plans and stuff. I got some blocked cheese. These, I got four. Colby Jacks, these are what we use for string cheese. Um, I put these in the kids' lunches or just for snacking with crackers and stuff and sausage that you'll see. I got some lunch meat you're gonna see. We don't have a lot of meat here. If you're new, we buy all of our meat in bulk, so if you wanna see like a look at my freezers, you can look at some of my freezer tours or if you just go back to my videos last month, I did a whole freezer pantry challenge and kind of showed you guys what we have in the freezers and stuff. My husband is an avid like outdoorsman, so he brings us a lot of game meat, whether that be like venison or fish and things. So that's kind of where all of that comes from. But we also buy bulk like beef products and then um, we raise our own chickens or we're raising our own chickens so that's where we get all of our eggs we do get some meat from our chickens just when our laying hens kind of age out of being good layers so that's why you're not going to see a lot of meat products here and then we buy uh half a pig every year locally so that's why there's no meat here because we already have that in our freezer some meat that we do buy though like every month is lunch meat so i got one chicken one ham one turkey that should last us the month. February is a short month, so we don't need more than that. I just put these all in the freezer, and then I'll pull them out when we need them um, for sandwiches, obviously. I did get some hard salami. Um, just snacking. The breastfeeding hunger has kicked in, and I want to make sure that I'm like focusing on real food and not like chips or something that's not good for you. So I got hard salamis because I also talked to my midwife. We're very chatty today, I guess, but I talked to my midwife at my six week postpartum checkup about feeling very fatigued. And it's not like I'm not getting enough sleep and I'm tired, tired. It's like the body aches, tired. Um, I don't have mastitis or anything like that. Everything's good there. So that wasn't the issue, but she told me I'm probably not taking in enough protein because when you're breastfeeding, you need more protein um, 
than when you're not breastfeeding and that's probably why I'm feeling tired. She did take some labs and everything looks good there. So she did everything she was supposed to but it just came down to I probably just need more protein in my diet. So that's why I got the hard salamis. I've also been eating like more of those little bags of tuna and stuff. So just trying to focus on protein. So that's why that's there. Got some hot dogs for the kids, of course. I also got a thing of pepper jack cheese because we're gonna be doing Philly cheesesteak quesadillas. And me and my husband will probably eat our quesadillas with pepper jack cheese. And then our kids will probably eat them with like mozzarella or something that's just not as spicy. I did get two things of bacon. We are completely out of bacon from the pig that we buy uh we were supposed to get our pig in the fall we waited we're gonna get it in the spring instead so i did get two packages of bacon we're gonna do chicken bacon ranch quesadillas as well this month and then i figured i would just get another thing of bacon that way if my husband sees this and he's like why aren't we having bacon for breakfast i have an extra thing of bacon and i can still have that meal that i plan to use the bacon for my husband wants me to make a lasagna soup that's been kind of going around so i got these for that soup i got two cans of basil garlic and oregano diced tomatoes i didn't can any diced or whole tomatoes out of my garden this year so i just kind of ran out of time so that's what those are for and then i also got a can of crushed tomatoes for that soup just in case ran out of ketchup got another thing of ketchup we ran out of that in the middle of the pantry challenge and that was one thing that I made sure I remembered to buy this month because we cannot go a whole month without ketchup. My kids would riot. I got two things of these small flour tortillas. There's 20 in here, so 40 total. We use these for lunches. This is what we'll make the quesadillas out of. My kids do roll-ups with these with like lunch meat, cheese, and some of our homemade pickles. They love those for lunch, so we do those a lot. Colt was with me, and he picked out some peanut butter M&Ms for him and his sisters to share. Um, my husband loves these, so whenever I remember to grab them, I always grab them for him. So I got him two of these milk chocolate with almond bars. He'll put these in his lunchbox and kind of eat them throughout the month as he decides he wants to eat them. If you saw my meal plan video, I do want to try to make raviolis for me and my husband's wedding anniversary this month, but I've been seeing these float around on the like Aldi Facebook pages and stuff. And I've been wanting to try these for a couple of years. So I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna do it this year. So I got one package of lobster ravioli. And me and my husband will enjoy these probably after our kids go to bed one night. So just like a little date night thing for us. So we'll do those. Got some marshmallows so that we can make, uh, what are those called, Rice Krispies for the kids. During the freezer pantry challenge, we completely ran out of chocolate chips, so I got two bags of milk chocolate, and I got two bags of these mini ones. I haven't seen them have these mini ones in a while, so I was happy to see those. I love to use these in um, breakfast muffins that I make for the kids, like the little itty bitty muffins, so love to have those. These are also really good in pancakes and stuff, just because they are smaller. I did get a Diet Coke there. Can we talk about the price of butter right now, you guys? It's in my area. It is a dollar per stick. So these came to a little over $4 a box, which is crazy. So we're gonna cut down our butter consumption a little bit here. I still got four. We ran out of butter in the middle of the pantry challenge last month. So we've been without butter for about a week or so. But it's hard to cut back on your butter usage when you're making things from scratch. You're making your cookies from scratch. You're making your shortening or your pie crust, like whatever it is, it's hard because usually a lot of those things that you make from scratch need you know a stick or two of butter so we'll see what happens but man those butter prices are rough i was talking to my brother-in-law about it and he said he's this close to buying himself a dairy cow or a dairy goat or something and producing his own milk um he lives a very similar lifestyle to what we do with like our farm to table homestead life and he already has cows and goats and stuff so it would be nothing for him to add on a dairy goat or a dairy cow or something so if he does that i'll probably start buying raw milk from him and making my own butter and my own heavy cream and stuff like that because yowza i also got three eight counts of these large burrito tortillas i am making enchiladas this month and then i figured the other ones i can use for breakfast burritos for my husband he's been really liking those lately so just some extra and tortillas freeze really well as well you guys so I'll put throw these all in my freezer and then just pull them out when I need them and they're great you don't even have to thaw them 
ahead of time if you don't want to. I've just thrown this whole stack of tortillas out of the bag, obviously, in my microwave, and they thaw perfect in the microwave, just a couple seconds, and they're good to go. Berry prices are also really high right now. Um, these blueberries were like five something a bag in my area, so I got two things of blueberries, and then I also got one thing of this berry medley. The berry medley is my kid's favorite, but it's seven dollars a bag right now in my area, so a little bit pricey, so one bag of those two bags of blueberries and typically we go through about a bag of frozen berries a week but because February is a shorter month this will last just great now I did let Colt pick out some ice cream treats for everybody he picked out these rose cones he figured one of his sisters would love those I grabbed these for Joe these kind frozen bars I figured he would really like these and then Colt picked these I let him eat one on the way home and while I was loading in the groceries in the car. So he picked those. Berries were a pretty good price. So I got three things of blackberries. They were $1.99 a carton, which is a really good price for my area. And then the raspberries were two something. So I got two of those and my kids will love those. I also got some tortilla triangles. I can't go a month without these. My kids love them. And they make a really great snack with our homemade salsa and things like that. So I got those. And then these are just some easy lunch snacks um, to throw in lunch boxes. Colt, my three-year-old, loves fruit snacks, so we always get a thing of fruit snacks for him. It's his favorite snack ever. Um, my oldest loves Cheez-Its in her lunches, so I always get a thing of Cheez-Its. And then these are the crackers that we use with uh, cheese and some of those sausages and stuff. My kids also love to put peanut butter in these, so we got a thing of those. And I also love to have these on hand for days more having soups or stews or something and either I could not be bothered to make bread or I didn't have time to make bread. These are a great kind of supplement for that. I found these in the Isle of Shame and these were actually marked way down. And it's awesome because I was literally just looking at these online last night because I'm doing some organizing and some moving some things around and I really needed some bins. <laughs> so I found these, these came in a pack of three. They were a really great price and I like them because they're actually kind of flexible and they're not plastic. So they probably won't be broken. Um, they'll probably last longer is basically what I'm getting at. So I got a three pack and then I also got a two pack of these bigger ones. They also had black if you're interested but these were a great deal so I picked up five bins in various sizes and I will use these promptly in um, bathroom sinks under my kitchen sink so I'm excited for those and then Colt really wanted these fruit punch so I let him grab one of these and I'll probably stick these away for the weekend and we'll pull these out um, maybe Friday night when we make our pizza and then the kids can have a juice box for dinner and it'll be like a fun movie night situation. So that is my $211 Aldi haul for the month. Thank you guys so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to hang out with me. Like I said, I will link down below my meal plan video if you wanna see all the meals that are happening here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in another video. Bye.